here in Develop PHP, one of the members, Shanky, was asking on the general section about antivirus programs for Windows, Mac, Linux, and so on, which is best, which people use, and so on. There are a lot of good choices and options that people have given here, but I shall go through what I do, which is not to use any antivirus software at all. You'll say, why do this? It is stupid. Your computer will be at risk. I say, no. Antivirus software is good if you need it, but you don't always need it. It is, to my way of thinking, a virus in its own, as it slows and takes control of many of the systems of your operating system. Now, I am currently using Windows XP, and the solution that I'll be telling you will also work on Windows Vista. What is this thing I'm talking about? It is Windows Steady State. And it is made by Windows. Yes, it's a Microsoft product. We know the devil incarnate. But it is designed specially for Windows, so it works perfectly with Windows. Here at the site, which you can see the link here for, they give you information, demo, how it works, all the information about it. It also states here there's a newer version available with full support for Windows Vista. But they also say that at the moment there is no current plans for it to be on Windows 7. Now I've not used Windows 7 personally so I do not know if it has its own version already built in of a sort or whether they will change their mind at a later date or if it was going to be a remake of the program. I have no idea. But that aside, I recommend you read up the tech on this and download it. You can get the information here on what system requirements are needed and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you've downloaded and set it up on your system, you will get this item, which is your main window, once it loads up. Now you've got user settings here, as I'm the only user, there is nothing in here at the moment. You can add new users, export user, import user, and so on and so on and so on. There's all the information and help sections here. It is also part of the Family One Care system. But to be honest, you do not need it when you've got this fully operational. Here in the restore and settings, you can see you can change all the settings that you want for security purposes, what can and cannot be written, what you can prevent right access to USB storage devices, which means people can't use a USB key or whatever on your computer. So it stops them from stealing stuff from you, which is great for an office computer. Other programs like Microsoft Office Documents and also users from creating folders and files on the C drive, which is the main drive. Now, personally, I have kept these open because I use all the features. There's also other stuff here, which is for security purposes, such as for hashing passwords and so on for security. Turn on welcome screen, Windows XP only, which is exactly what it is, what it says on the tin. Do not cache copies, locked or roaming user profiles, blah, 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 blah. All this is what you set up initially. Scheduled updates. You can schedule when or if you update your system, which means it will safely do your Windows updates for you at a given time and on a given day. You can say daily or a particular day and obviously give it a time. 
you can have security program updates for certain programs, custom updates, and whatever you wish to have in this section. Protect hard disk. We're going to there. Now, this is the feature that I am looking at. <coughs> Excuse me again, sorry. Frog in the throat. At the moment, I have, for testing purposes, retain all changes temporarily which, and restart the computer and clear changes on a given date. The top choice is remove all changes at restart, which means every time you boot your computer, it will be back to how it was. And then if you are installing anything new, obviously make sure that you have nothing on your computer detrimental, make sure you are offline at the time and so on and so on. Then you click on this one, such as this, and you say OK, which I won't do at this moment. What that does then is, you then reboot your computer and it saves all the information that you need. Once you have saved the information you, and rebooted, you can come back into here and stick it back onto the default setting at the top. If you don't do that, it will save every time you reboot. So make sure that you unselect this one and put it back to your default value after you have saved or installed any new programs. This here, do not warn an administrator of changes before log off and restart and shutdown. Basically, if this is sel not selected, there will be a warning bubble that pops up on the bottom saying whichever situation you have here that things will be saved or things will not be saved and so on. Changing the cache file size, that's for obvious reasons when you're installing. And obviously you can turn it off if you do not want to use it at all and you want to use a regular virus protection and so on. Now this program basically works on a image system. It saves a full image of your hard drive and you can use it such as like a DVD-ROM. It's like you're loading your Windows off a DVD-ROM and it's virtually loading onto your hard drive each session. To, to use this system effectively, you need to have two hard drives. One hard drive for all your programs you have loaded in, and a second hard drive where you save everything that you are using. You can use your normal hard drive as a buffer when you're doing day-to-day -day work, but before you log off, you need to save everything into your storage hard drive. Your storage hard drive will not be affected by any changes, but when you reboot, all your previous default settings will be back where they are. Now, although Windows Steady State is made by Windows, there are other versions out there of programs that do the same sort of thing. This Windows Steady State obviously is for Windows. There are programs that I believe do the same for, for Mac. As for Linux, I don't know. I think there is. Um, there's one that's for, based for Unix systems. But most of them you have to pay for. Windows Steady State is free and I recommend it. If there's any questions, please post comments and I shall try and get back to you on anything. Thank you very much and hope this helps you all.